I know this is gonna be shocking to hear, but I am 30 years old and I recently became a developer when I joined the JavaScript bootcamp. Are you too old to become a developer or learn to code when you're 30? In this video, I'm gonna give you three reasons for why I think the answer is hell no. Starting with reason number one, adaptability makes a great developer. My experience so far has shown me that in order to be a good developer, it's mostly about adaptability. And being young does not automatically make you more adaptable. If anything, with the right learner's mindset, having more life experience helps you see things more broadly and helps you learn and advance faster in your programming skills. Starting to code younger will of course make your skills better by the time you're 30 uh, because you've had a lot more experience. And if you're 21, you normally have fewer responsibilities and in turn more time to develop your skills more than a 30 year old has. But that does not mean that if you are 30, you are automatically worse off or that you can never catch up to the person who has been coding for nine years. And that's why the ability to learn and be adaptable and to use your past experience to solve the problem that is in front of you, that's what makes you a great developer, not age. And every single developer I've talked to agrees on this. Skills matter over anything else. Which brings us to reason number Two, maturity grows your skills faster. When you are an older developer starting in your first job, you bring a lot of maturity into your work and into the process of learning and coding. And because you have more work experience and life experience, you tend to take on more responsibility in your assignments and in your professional growth. This is one of the very interesting things we were told in the bootcamp I attended. All the people who graduated this bootcamp and were later sold out as consultants tended to drastically improve their coding skills within their first year of working compared to new educated 22 year olds directly from college because they had work experience. Because when you're older, you're more comfortable with who you are, who you are professionally, and you're more likely to work well, both independently and in groups. And what you lack in coding skills, you make up with potentially a decade more of work experience to how to conduct yourself professionally, to how to talk to your colleagues and your boss, to how to uh, control your own work schedule and your performance. All these little things add up to a 30-year-old junior developer being more sellable in many ways than a 22-year-old junior developer with the same coding experience. Which brings us to reason number three. Older people can't learn new things. This is an extremely common myth, which I probably think is the reason you're watching this video. We as a society think that as we get older, we somehow lose the ability to learn new things. How many times have you heard people say that, oh, Oh, young kids, they can just pick up a language super fast. But for adults, it's really hard. Or has the thought crossed you that, oh, if you just learned programming when you were 15, it would have been very easy. But now that you're 30, 40, 50, it's very hard. Well, I'm here to happily tell you that that belief that we as humans get worse at learning is mostly false and debunked by science. There is an inherent loss in skill and mental capacity when we get older, but it's not nearly to the extent that we think and it's also way later in life than what we think. And there is still ongoing debate in the research about whether we get new neurons as we grow older or whether we are given a set amount of neurons when we are born and that's it. But there is one overwhelmingly debunked part and that is that for adults, it's hard to learn new things. What the research says instead is that the number one reason that children grasp things seemingly easily and that adults don't is that children are not afraid of making mistakes. Because the older we get, the more mistakes we make and in general, adults become very shy about making more mistakes, especially publicly. Learning anything new and mastering especially something new is by default signing up to making a lot of mistakes. So this is the leading theory to why adults think they can't learn a new language because they are afraid of making mistakes and to look stupid. Whilst kids, they will just babble for years until the right sound eventually comes out. Therefore, this unhealthy belief that as we grow, we naturally become stuck in our ways 
is a self-fulfilling prophecy. And I've seen this recently firsthand when I did a 100-day language learning challenge. I was learning French every day for one hour with a website called Lingoda. We had a tutor and we were a group of five students. And it was impressive to see the difference in speaking ability to the people who were not afraid of looking stupid and the people who were too shy to make mistakes. The people who were saying all the wrong things quickly became much better speakers than the people who were very timid. Eventually, the people who were making all the mistakes were the only ones left in the challenge. And this was the first thing that most of the teachers always told us in every single session. Make a lot of mistakes, because that's the only way to learn. So are you worse off learning to program now that you are older? Well, it depends on your mindset. If you think you can't learn something new just because you're older, then you will make that your reality. But if you are like the many first-time developers I work with, who are older than the average junior programmer, then you will put in the effort like you did when you were young, and you will not be afraid of looking stupid while you are making all the necessary beginner mistakes and you will become an excellent developer. Then the answer to you is hell no, the sky is the limit. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Adamir and I switched my career to become a developer at the age of 30. And since you've watched this video, I guess that's something that interests you as well. Subscribe and give this video a like for more videos on how to become a developer and coding tutorials for beginners. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a great one.